heavyweight matchup between Alexander Gustafson and John Jones. John Jones and Alexander Gustafson set to run it back. Of course, their first meeting at UFC 165, one of the greatest fights in UFC light heavyweight history. You wonder if Gus might change the approach here, though, as they meet again and maybe take some more calculated risks to really try to get Jones out. He really needs to be a little more aggressive in this fight. In the second fight, he didn't fight to his full potential. He feels as though he left a lot inside of the octagon and still believes he is the guy to beat John Jones. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big kick lands. About the hand speed of Alexander Gustafson, in terms of the pressure and the pace, there just aren't a lot of 205 pounders in the world that are going to be able to compete with this guy. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the hand outside to a high ground. Oh, takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch. And Jones is going for a choke here. minutes round one all right he continues to bully his opponent here really manhandling him on the ground all right has the guard closed here working off of his back here looks like he may try to hip escape all right good movement by him here on the ground he really is a master of these transitions he is a master of movement on the ground you never know where he's gonna be all right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. He's having his way with him here. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just misses there with the left. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big knee! This should be good. Here we go with the start of round two, Alexander Gustafson. And that man, John Jones. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. The straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Jones is lower John now. He's starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Big knee there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, wow. Head kick. Oh. Ooh. Oh. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have landed for Alexander Gustafson. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against John Jones. 
right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is, wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at Jack right. Do you believe it? What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Alexander the Mola. So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises.